Hey guys, it's Kara, and it's Wednesday night, the night before Jason and I are supposed to leave for the Arnolds, and I wanted to do a little video to show you what I'm bringing on the plane with me. However, living in central New York and trying to fly in March sucks a big one, and every flight imaginable has been canceled and delayed and all kinds of bullshit. So, I don't care, nothing's stopping me, we're gonna get to the Arnold. So we're actually running a vehicle and leaving at the Book Crack of Dawn tomorrow and just driving straight there and hopefully we don't have any issues and I will get to meet all of you. So um, I don't know if we'll be at the booth tomorrow being Thursday, but we'll definitely be there Friday and Saturday. So come by booth 1831 1831 will be there with a shit ton of people i've posted it on my instagram Alyssa has mark has um nick wright will be there doug miller ronnie coleman um Alyssa palisano like a bunch of us it's gonna be epic so you call him by his right name everyone always calls him drug miller apparently <laughs> mark you mark just did a video on it so we will be there it's just been a little stressful leading up to it so hopefully um, the drive will go okay tomorrow and safely and hopefully I may even shower for you when I get there um, To prep tonight. I did just like a makeup free right now I went and wanted to get a spray tan have been trying to carb cycle a little bit before I went um, Haven't been weighing myself, so I don't really know how it's been going I'll be honest. I've had I feel like I always say this but work's been really stressful. And that's typically what derails me from like staying on my plan in terms of eating what I need to or my workouts and things like that but did the best I could so hopefully I don't disappoint any of you um so yeah gonna pack tonight basically just going to drive in yoga pants and probably only bring workout clothes because we basically plan to be at the expo and probably train and eat pancakes I would think would be the majority of the weekend but some of the stuff that I packed, I wanted to show you what I was going to bring for food to travel on the plane with, but it'll come with me in the car. But for flying, I typically try to stick with non-perishable food items. I'm not all into like cooking chicken and packing it and trying to keep it at the appropriate temperature because I am a food safety nerd when it comes to that stuff. I am a dietitian, and chicken in the temperature danger zone freaks me out, okay? It just does, so gotta keep your meat safe, folks. So I stick with non-perishable goodies. So usually when I travel, I pick up these pouches of tuna fish from Wegmans. You can get them anywhere, and they're perfect because it's three ounces in one pouch, and I usually bring like some honey mustard or something with me to mix with the tuna. Honey mustard tastes really good with the albacore tuna fish. So we've got a bunch of packets of those to bring. Then you've got an easy source of lean protein. You don't have to worry about keeping it cold and all that jazz or heating it up. You just eat it out of the packet if you want. You don't have to drain it or any of that jazz. So that's why I like that. Um, got some bananas to bring for some quick carbs. Um, I wanted to try to bring something a little healthier, so we got some of these bags of sugar snap peas. These are pretty titties approved because in terms of volume, there's three servings in here. The whole bag is only 21 carbs, six grams of fiber, and it's a pretty big, like, hefty bag of sugar snap peas. So you've got, like, almost three cups worth. So that's gonna fill you up quite a bit. So we had a couple bags of those to snap on. Grab some Trader Joe's natural turkey jerky. I've never tried their turkey jerky before, but I figured, um, you know, it's not bad to have on hand. Again, it's easy, non-perishable type dealio. And then I've been super digging these Quest Bars, the double chocolate chunk. We picked up a box of these. Wegmans is selling them now. Um, you can get these at Tiger Fitness dot com too so you can use my link in the description to go get yours there those are easy to travel with I wanted to have some fats with me too because sometimes I forget to travel with fat so I grabbed some of these hundred calorie cocoa roasted almonds they I they're not like where I go overboard with them so actually I pick them because I can eat so many nuts it's not even funny yeah that's gonna get some jokes on there but um 
These are good because they're 100 calorie packs, so 8 grams of fat in one package. Like I said, they're decent, but they're not something where I'm going to like want to eat all 8 packages because they're not that good. And then I picked up a couple um, packages of Justin's. This is vanilla almond butter. I've never seen this flavor before, so I probably wouldn't have bought it because I have my almonds, but I can't pass up a different flavored nut butter that I have not tasted before. So. I got these guys to bring... Insert joke number two. <laughs> Insert joke number two. These are pretty phenomenal. These are, what's the brand? Wellesley Farms. Gourmet. I had hair on me. Big J's got hair on them. Um, Wellesley Farms Gourmet Snack Collection Veggie Crunch Mix. These are awesome. It's literally sweet potatoes, squash, carrots, and green beans. And I think there's just a little bit of canola oil and sea salt added to them. And the macros are pretty decent. They're nice and crunchy. So I was gonna portion those out into little baggies to bring with us so that I don't sit there and eat the whole thing because I totally could. But those are good. I got them at BJ's Wholesale Club. Answer your joke number three. <laughs> you could probably get them at like Costco or something. I'm not really sure. Um, and then my husband made fun of me but I came home with like six packs of gum because Confetti cake pop and jelly bean. Need I say more? Why I would need six packs of gum? And that's what I'm chewing on right now. The confetti cake pop. I recommend it. It's delicious. I always bring gum when flying on a plane because you can't buy it once you go through security. Because they don't want you to jack up their shit. And my ears like clog up and stuff when I'm flying. So I always like do that a lot to pop my ears when I'm in a plane going up and down. So I always have tons of gum, gum on tap. Plus, I'm going to be meeting you guys at the expo. I hope. I don't want to have no stinky breath. I want to have jelly bean breath. So hopefully I'll have jelly bean breath when you come by. And lastly, this is kind of random, but Dr. McDougal's, if I said that right, makes these little um, dehydrated soups. This one's a split pea soup. And we got like a black bean and rice one. These you truly just add hot water to, which when you're traveling, you can get hot water anywhere. Um, you just add hot water to it and let it sit for a few minutes and then you've got yourself a little soup. So this was another kind of easy to bring carb slash protein source. So we grabbed some of those. So now we've got all our goodies and just got to finish getting packed. Bring a tub of MTS because we're in a car. We'll bring protein. We'll probably bring some pre-workout with us too. Um, I think that's everything we're going to bring. Um, bring this. Bring some Clash and probably bring some protein. Probably bring the Key Lime Pie. We'll probably just stick with one protein flavor and some shaker, couple shaker cups. And what else? I think that's it. Jason's camera will come with us. We'll take some footage while we're down there. And like I said, I would love, love, love to meet you guys. So um, you don't have to call me Kara Lee 83 You can call me Kara. Please come up, say hi. I'd love to get a photo with you guys. And um, thank you for your support. So please come meet me, stop by. And we should be having a good time. I hope to see you guys all there. Hopefully I get there safely. See you soon.